The Titans Brandon Goforth and Josh Ward are in pursuit of a tornadic supercell in South Central Oklahoma. 7 at PM Central Daylight Time. The Titans are in prime position for a tornado. The Liberty team has done its job well today. The storm exhibits incredible structure. It's quickly becoming better organized. A tornado appears imminent. That's a tornado on the ground right now. If you look at the motion, there's no way. That is very intense motion in there. Oh, the rain's wrapping around. Oh my gosh, it's about to go rain wrap. There's a bit, oh, there's a big tornado right there. It's on the ground. Definitely on the ground. A large, mostly rain wrapped tornado forms a couple of miles away from the Liberty team. With no way to protect themselves, they hold back out of the beast's way. The first tornado occludes, but a new area quickly forms and it too appears to be ready to produce a tornado at any moment. Uh, chances of severe weather are really, really good today. Tornadoes, definite possibility. We are going to uh, basically see what happens. It'll be one of those days we gotta, we gotta be on the ball. There's gonna be a lot of storms it looks like, and we gotta be ready to adjust really quickly today. A cold front is diving south in Oklahoma. The forcing along the front is strong, so numerous storms are expected to fire. The Titans have to find the best possible environment mixed with the most isolated storms possible. It's not an easy job as there are many potential pitfalls ahead. Tornado watch has been issued. Uh, we are in this area. Looks like we got storms starting to fire along the cold front. Will not be much longer now until we're on a storm. Gotta find a good discreet one. Make it happen. We are currently uh, back into Ratliff City now, jogging back north. We've had convective initiation. Uh, supercells are developing rapidly along cold front slash dry line. Winds are back. Uh, tornado threat is definitely there. We are getting ready to make this happen. The Titans are now on a storm. The only thing left to do now is to pick the right one and see what happens. A storm chase team requires good communication. The Titans are about to find that truth out the hard way. Storm to our north, so that's it right there. Storm position. The Titan storm is already showing signs of being tornadic, but the Titans are running late. There's some scud coming up in updraft base. That's the most significant thing we've seen. So, dang it. Oh. The Titans missed their exit, an arrow that is costly on both time and positioning. Well, we've got here, we've got a storm trying to organize itself just behind me here. It's taking its full time, but uh, here in the next hour or so, I think we're going to end up with a storm that's probably tornadic, so just got to work on it. Yeah, we've got to take this next left. Coming up at three quarters of a mile. Better be ready. The Titans are to the west and north of the storm. To get into position, they have to punch through the storm's rear flank downdraft, where a giant hill and a sudden tornado are all possible. It's dangerous, but it's their only move. Okay, we need to watch it here. Just watch it. Could be some big hell here. This is the business area right here of this storm. It's uh, trying to take off. We're about to try to get ahead of it. Let's go. The Titans emerge from the hook echo of the storm to find a well-developed wall cloud. They've successfully come from behind and are now in prime position for a tornado. The Titans started off from behind but are now on a tornadic supercell in South Central Oklahoma. 
The Titan Storm has rapidly become an HP supercell, which means a tornado could be hidden behind sheets of rain. The Titans are in a good position to get a tornado, but the storm is weakening. Storms behind the Titan supercell have seeded up into the current storm's updraft. However, a cell just behind the current one is quickly showing signs of becoming tornadic. But there's one problem. The Titans do not have a direct path. The Titans battle with local road networks and terrain for position, but it's no use as the only path to a tornado is directly through the storm's hill core. The Titans wait for the storm to come to them, but when it finally arrives, the storm has weakened considerably. The Titans retreat east, failing to see a tornado after a day wrought with mistakes. The Titans are on their way to Texas, where a weather system is promising to bring severe weather and possibly tornadoes to the Lone Star State. looking like it's down here around the triple point. Get the dry line swinging out, get a little pressure, surface low down here, cold front. Cold front's probably gonna light up and you're gonna have basically a line of quasi linear jungle crap. So basically it's, we wanna get semi-discreet, isolated in nature, and so we're gonna have to probably boost down to uh, probably just south of Wichita Falls area-ish. So that's what it's looking like right now. Right now we're sitting on the west side of Gainesville, Texas. We're about to roll a little bit southwest down to where the triple point's at, um, where the dry lines meet in the cold front. A uh, little bit worried the cold front's just gonna erupt into a, a line of, of mess. We wanna get down to where things are remaining semi-isolated. And uh, we're feeling pretty good right now about tornado probabilities, so we'll see how it goes. I think we'll at least maybe get one or two tornadoes out of this thing today. Uh, got storms initiating all over the place. It's gonna be a very messy day. Not unlike yesterday, we are going to try to get on a supercell that will produce a tornado. There will be at least one today. I'd say a couple. The Titans are closing in on a rapidly developing supercell in north central Texas. Once again, they're in the right spot at the right time. All they can do now is wait for the storm to get going. Well, we got a supercell here that has developed. It's, uh, it's doing quite nice, but... But so far it hasn't got it all together yet, so we're working on that, I guess, but we'll see. The Titans are in north central Texas on a rapidly developing supercell. Apparently, uh, the storm's starting to ramp up a little bit, so we are heading... Whoa! We finally get some CGs out of this thing, too, now. So the uh, storm's definitely picking up intensity. We'll see what happens. The Titans have a very small window to capture a tornado. A mature supercell has developed and should be tornadic soon. However, storms are developing everywhere, so the Titans' window of opportunity is small. <laughs> a wall cloud begins to develop. This is a sign the storm is gaining strength. Tornado warning. What well, we got here? We got a well-developed wall type. The storm is tornado worn. It's got we've got good rising motion into it. Or it's a little bit of rotation. Tornado could have form at any time out of this thing right now. It's what we're looking at. The wall cloud teases the Titans. It's well developed and has lots of motion. The only thing missing is a tornado. Right on the RFD, you can get stay in here with this. The supercell is approaching Gainesville, Texas. The Titans have to make a move that will cost them precious time as they have to get through town before they can prepare to intercept again. The Titans emerge on the other side of town, but they have only minutes before their storm is overtaken. Will they get a tornado before it's too late? We got good rising motion into it, or it's a little bit of rotation. Tornado 
could have form at any time out of this thing right now. The Titans are on a tornadic supercell, which is threatening to drop a tornado at any minute near Gainesville, Texas. These are extreme inflow bands. Look at this going in. This guarantee you this thing's got amazing structure right now. The RFD's cutting in right through here. Okay, let's boost east about a mile. The supercell is organized and appears ready to drop a tornado. The Titans wait, but the storm simply isn't cooperating with them. What we got here, we got a nice uh, lowering, good, good, good uh, RFD notch coming in here. And we're just totally uh, watching to see what happens. Amazing structure. Tornado could form at any minute still. It's been this way for like 30 minutes. Right now, it's going to get all wrapped up again. The storm tries and fails. The Titans are not going to see a tornado on this day. Today was one of those days where we, the sky did a lot of things, but it didn't do everything for us. Today was a success. It's always a success when you get a supercell. We had a storm we thought might get going um, just a little bit southwest of Gainesville, and it didn't, so it was a, just basically just a bunch of fail. I mean, we did everything we could. Sky didn't cooperate, so we'll see. Guy, we got another one tomorrow. Go hit it. The Titans end the day with a post-chase mill as storms roll in across North Texas. They didn't see a tornado, but the season is still young and ample opportunities await the team.